What do I choose? I don't know. What do I choose? There's so many. What do I choose? What do I choose? Welcome back, guys, to Kai Tao's Live here on YouTube. We're here again, the summer sale. You can spend more money on some more cool games. And I have a list here on the side. As always, I'm trying to stay organized here so I don't spend too much money on games on here. And it's a little late, you know, June 25th to July 9th, but you know, I try to be a good boy and organize my games that I wanted to buy first and then jump into the sale. So, here we go. All right, first things first, we're gonna start the list off by looking at games that are under $5. Under $5, the quick picks, $1 here, in nice cents there. Here we go. First one is Sun Wukong vs. Robots. This game I've been looking at for a long time. It came out early, way earlier this year, January of this year. It looks like it's like a retro style game and reminds me of Mega Man. But it's like a Kung Fu Mega Man. If you want to see the trailer here. Right, look at that. Look, look, look at those graphics right there. Simple graphics. Very difficult Metrovania style. But you are, you are a ninja monkey going around a, um, a mech universe defeating robots. How cool is that? So that right there, eight nine cents, definitely gonna be on the list. Definitely. Add a cart. All right, next one is Thunderpaw. This game is $1.19. That is nothing. This game is about, oh, so it's kind of sad, but a young canine named Thunderpaw, or then Thunder, all right, goes home. He, he's playing out in the yard. He goes home. Hey, mom, dad, how you doing? And no one's there. Where are they? We don't know. But now it's time to kick his ass. Of course, it's cats. Why not? Who else? Yes, this game's awesome. Yes, I'm gonna put it on the list for now, and I'll organize it later. Boom, Thunderpaw is going on the list. Add the card. Dude, this one right here, Shadow Blade Reloaded. I guess it's a remake. But the Shadow Blade is a game I've been looking at for a while. Uh, it came out years ago, four years ago, but it feels like it just came out yesterday because I have never played it before, but I've heard people saying it's good. It's like a Ninja Gaiden, you know? What's that cool to like about Ninja Gaiden kind of games that just has a ninja going crazy and doing ninja skills? And has really, really positive reviews on Steam. So just check out the trailer. So awesome. It's like a rag doll with ninja physics. That's so cool. Of course, wall bouncing. Have that wall bouncing. Oh my God. This game can be very good if you love to speedrun games. You know what you're doing. Go right through it. Ah, oh, so satisfying. Oh my goodness. What are you... That is epic. Okay, I'm convinced. $2 or $1.99. Put it right on the list. Hell yeah. But this one's an award-winning narrative thriller about a blind woman's journey to uncover the truth about the mansion from her nightmares. Or else, become one of its victims. Jesus, man, this game's pretty intense. I'm gonna see the trailer real fast. Let's look at it. This place is damned. And I fear it is of my doing. Ew, I dude, what? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, little, little girls and dolls do not mix well with me. This is all wrong. I gotta get out now. Dude. What? That is so cool. That's creepy. One ninety nine, ninety percent off. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna add it to the list because usually it's 20 bucks. That is a steal, ladies and gentlemen. Steal. There we go. Okay, this one I've been going back and forth with. Back and forth with for a while because I'm like, hmm, for a year. <laughs> I'm like, do I want to buy this game? Do I not want to buy this game? Do I want to buy this game? I've seen so many videos about how the game is awesome. And then I'm like, do I, am, I, am I really in the mood for a space type drama, space type, you know, uh, game? But let's just look at the trailer. I'm going to be the piece of the trailer to see if it convinces us to add this 299 game to the cart. <laughs> Damn. You have zombies on your ship? Damn. Kinda like Darkest Dungeon. Ha! 
Oh, nice. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. So it's, it's card, it's a card game type turn based. Oh, it's nice. You have a, a whole list of, of weapons to use. Okay, okay. Okay, you know what? Fight, die, repeat. Story of my life, man. These kind of games. You, you learn to die, you learn to die, you learn to die. Okay. Yeah. I'll add it to the car for now. $2.99. Why not? Add it there. Let's get going. Right, this is X5 A1000. For those who are seasoned, I don't say old here, I say seasoned. Reminds me of games like Doom, the first Doom, uh, Duke Nukem, those kind of first person, only see the gun shooter games, right? That's what this is. X5 A1000. Indie game, FPS action shooter. I'm just gonna show you the trailer. This, this, the game looks pretty awesome. And it's on a pretty good sale, $2.99, half off. Let's go, look at it. Yeah. Tongue's so catchy. <laughs> You're shooting mechs, man. There's some awesome, incredible weapons. All right, yes, yes, yes. All right, all right, all right. I'm convinced. Put it on the, on the list. Games I do put on the list here, all right? The games I will turn into content. I promised myself that because buying games, for the sake of buying games, is what got me to get to have almost 500 games on my Steam list. No joke, I have like almost 500 games. It's a lot. I know. I have a problem. <laughs> Help. You know what? All these games, one, two, three, four, five, six games, only $12. $12.04 for six games. That is not bad at all. Let's keep going. So this game, Skelly Celeste, is not on a deep sales. Like it's 33% it's off, $3.34 total. This one is an indie roguelike pixel graphic game, and I love those kind of games. It will remind you of Isaac, except in pixel graphics. You have pretty much a, a skull, a skelly, a skeleton. There we go, a skeleton in an underground world defeating enemies. But yeah, you have upgrades from weapons to use. You will die a lot in this game. New levels, new place to go, new enemies to destroy. It's awesome. Let's go look at it. This is so old school. And boss battles, of course, crazy, awesome, amazing boss battles. Mini games. This is gonna get my like. Love this kind of games. I can play them for hours. Oh god, the skelly boss. Yep, 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 yep. Add to cart. For right now, it's the most expensive one in the cart, 334. So we'll just, like I said, come back here, organize this. What do we really want? And then buy those games. Here we go. This one here, Treasure Adventure World. And this one I, I, I picked for a couple reasons. One, it's on a really good sale, 65% off, 349. Two is because Chucklefish Games makes great indie games. They make amazing games. And they got picked up, they just got picked up by Xbox on their new Xbox ID, so yay for them. It's an adventure indie game, Metroidvania 2D style game. A lot of puzzle solving. Um, of course, you have a beautiful, amazing, cool character. And awesome graphics, 2D graphics, side scroller. Let's go. Love the animation, by the way. It's awesome. Oh, it's so sick. Very endearing graphics. That's a secrets as well. <laughs> Mushroom people. Oh, dude, this is so cool. Look at that. I love the cutscenes are on, you know, the cartoon and animation style. Oh, that's creepy. That's spooky. Big boss battles, arcade mini mini games, really psychedelic drug tripping bosses. Okay, all right. I think I'm. I'm yeah, 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 yeah. I think we're gonna get it. Let's put it there for now. For now. Right, for now. A retro game, of course. Retro style game. It's called Haxer. I almost bought this game last year. Almost did. Why didn't I buy this game this year? I don't know. I don't know. A lot of games to buy. A lot of games to play. A lot of games to enjoy. So cool. It's like super old school platformer. That's like a boss. <laughs> Test your nostalgia in four worlds. I think it's a short game, but it's an intense game at that. 
Okay. Four bosses, four levels. I'm sure it's like hardcore, old school, difficult. I'm down for that. Even though I might be salty. Maybe rage quit. Who knows? Might break my mouse. Anyways, let's go put it on the list. Another one. Uh, two years, uh, three years ago. Jeez, man, that time flies. About three years ago, this game came out. Stramium Immortality. Stramium Immortally. Uh, I think this is another one in, in the series here. Oh, yo, yeah, maybe that same developer made Skelly Celeste in the first Stramia game. Not bad. Not cool. It's pretty cool. It's an indie uh, action roguelike bullet hell game. So a lot of crazy enemies, bullets coming flying at you in all directions, and a lot of cool big bosses to defeat. Check out the, uh, the trailer. The game looks clean, by the way. Very clean. Very insane, though. Have you seen Wings of V? You know what I'm talking about. Cool upgrades, cool weapons to use. That's pretty cool, a little Game Boy throwback. I like that. Dude, I can't wait to play this game. It's gonna be one of those games you play for a while because you know you try to beat these crazy bosses. Die a lot, win a lot, or we'll win some. Die a lot, win some. Put it on the list. Let's, we'll organize it later on. Okay, swim through all the good games. A lot of games to swim through, my guy. My, my Jesus. Here we go. From all the. RPG, bullet hell, crazy, uh, indie, retro kind of games. This one is still kind of retro, but this is going to be pulled back. Pulled back a little bit. It's an RPG game. And one of those um, easygoing RPG exploration uh, emotional games called Cope Island. This is a paradise of self-improvement. Return a better version of yourself. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so nice. Let's check out the trailer. $4.99. One penny under five bucks. Psh, you can find a penny on your on your couch. You're fine. Here we go. The warm breeze and just nice upon your face, isn't it? Even the piano sets the mood of this whole game. This is not a dream or a fantasy. You are alive, and this is all real. This is a real life game, guys. Okay, it's not fake. Take the plunge. Discover oneself. I love it. Turn-based RPG, man. You found the flower tiles. Oh, this is so cool. What lies inside is different. Oh, come on, man. I need to read that one. This is like the old school, like, MS-DOS, old school Windows kind of RPG turn-based games. This is really nice. Oh, what's this? Nice. Cope Island Adrift. Okay, okay, okay. Become a better person. Turn-based RPG combat, not bad. Came out in April, so not too long ago. Well, two months ago, three months ago. Here we go. On the list. Okay, so, so far. Oh, it was 12 bucks, though, 32. So, so far we have $32.29 here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 games. I said, some of these will be, <laughs> one more left. One more left. And this one's gonna be a good one. I think this one's gonna be one I will keep here forever because I do have to and want to play this game. Jack Quest. I think some of you have heard about it before. Many of you indie game fans have been following this game for, for a while. I have as well. This one came out this year in January. And I told myself, I'm gonna pick this game up, I'm gonna play it when it first comes out. And I went, didn't happen. I was I was swimming under a sea of games, as always. That's how it is. It's a fast paced action. Platformer, Jack West wastes no time with his quick combat and steady progression, guiding players through a single interconnected world full of secrets, collectible gems, hidden challenges that are sure to keep completionists engaged for hours on end. This is it's a quick game though. This game's like what, five, six hours long? But if you're a completionist, it'll take you 10, 13 or so, 14 hours to complete everything. I, I might just go for the whole thing, right? Knife through it, get it? Because the tail of the sword. <laughs> anyway, I'm sold. Game's 4 99 Again, half off. Let's go. No! Go get a jack! Together with your sword! Kudo! They named the sword, that's awesome. Go pick that sword is I can't, can't carry that sword, can he? You can. He's Jack. Looks so awesome. Beautiful game, man. Oh the wall bounces, nice. Wall bounces and double jumps are so good. So key for platform games. Quick underwater levels. Beating up clams, why not? With radio with puzzles, yes. Oh, nice. So nice. Big bosses, Lo love it. Love it. 
and the music is so good too. Oh, bow and arrows, my favorite weapon in any game. Love it. Yeah, this right here, I think is gonna be a must pick up for me. Ah, oh, so cool, towers you can pick up too. Love it. It is, it is. Jack Quest, tell the sword. Yes. Yes, 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 and more yes. Put it on the list for now. There we go. And here is the total list we have for the games under five bucks. We got Jack Quest, we got Cope Island, we got Stramium Immortally. We got Haxer, we got Treasure Adventure World, we got Skelly Celeste, Excise, Excise 8 1000, Hazardous Space, Perception, Shadow Blade, Thunderpaw, and Sun Wukong vs. Robots. So, I'm just gonna take off for now the Cope Island. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Gone. All right. And then we're gonna take off, uh, let's see here. We're gonna take, for now, we'll take off the, the uh, X5 A1000. Okay, just gonna do that. Cut the fat here. Let's see here, $29. We're gonna go ahead and boot off Mr. Thunderpaw. Maybe next time. Make the cut. Okay, so see here. We have Stramium, Immortal League, Jack Quest, Hackster, Treasure World, Adventure. I'm going to, oh, she's between Skelly Celeste and Treasure Adventure World. Which one should I do? Well, you can't, I can't answer that question because you're not here in live. So I'm gonna go in here and go ahead and take off Treasure Adventure World for now. It's hard to do this. It's like, you know, booting your kids out of the house. I'm, I want perception. I've been told, I told myself, wow, well, I need to keep that game Play it. Let's see a Shadow Blade, Perception, Skelly Celeste, Hazard Space. Let's go ahead. Once again, it does not make the cut. Ah, Hazard of Space. Maybe next time. Uh, amongst all these other games, though. Amongst all these other games. I'm just saying. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games over here. Um, Twenty-one dollars, three cents. Not too bad for games under. Under five bucks. There's more to come too. More to come. These kind of games. I have other games to talk about with games under ten bucks. That's a long list too. And I might pick up one or two of those games. But I'll show you all the games I think you should check out because they're awesome. They're on sale. And your wallet cries for them. But your walls will cry because your wallet, you know, is like, please help me. You're like, no, sorry, buddy. This is this is summer sale. Okay? You gotta be a trooper. Be a champ. Anyway. We guys enjoyed this video. I'm a cat out here on Cat House Lab here on YouTube, talking about more Steam games and games to fill your library with more and more and more games you probably won't even play for a long time. But then say you will, but then you won't. But then you will sometimes. Hit me up on Twitch as well, guys. Twitch.tv slash Catality right over here. Right there. That's me. Monday, Wednesday, Friday nights we play games. Old school games for now, for July, and regularly we play indie games. All year long. I have a totality. Hope you have a great day. Keeping awesome. And I'll see you guys after the jump. So many games. So many games. But you know what? Hey, every single year, every single summer sale, winter sale, I would get more and more organized so I know exactly what I want to look at, exactly what I want to buy. And then we cut down the fats. Well, not the fat, but cut down all the games that may not make the, the cut. But then we'd spend responsibly. We still spend a lot of money on these awesome games. But guess what? They're premium. They're at a premium. Look at the sales. New video coming out very soon about the games under 10 bucks. Maybe I might do the one under 20 bucks as well. Who knows? Who knows? But those games, I might not pick up all of them. But you guys can see the games I pick up. I recommend to you. Anyways, until the next video, guys. Enjoy these videos over here. Two of them for you, recommended for you to check out while I create more stuff on this awesome channel. But I got to tell you guys, have a great night. Keeping awesome. Peace out.